One year of film photography. Here are the two main things that I learned. Having not shot film since I was probably a kid, I last year ventured back into film photography. Obviously, if you've seen my other video, I have had some ups and downs with film photography, but on the whole, I have enjoyed and loved the shooting experience. Now, this leads me to the first thing that I learned, and that is patience. I'm sure you've heard the phrase, trust the process. This phrase is commonly used in anything that is worth pursuing. And I particularly think that this is relevant to film photography. You really do have to trust the process. This is a medium that is not suited to everyone. Like I said in a previous video, I have had my ups and downs with film photography. However, the one biggest thing that I have learned is patience. You are not going to be shooting absolute bangers from the off. That is a certainty, especially if you are coming from the world of digital or you're just a flat out newbie. What you see on the internet is people who have cultivated and meticulously gone over their craft. They have worked at this and put all of their faith in the process. It's not to say you're not going to make good shots to begin with, but what I am going to say, patience is definitely absent in this world right now. And I think something like film photography slows that down. And it doesn't just slow down the taking of the photo, it slows down the whole process from buying new film stock to getting it developed, getting your film back, reviewing, editing, that whole process takes time. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. It is, however, if it impacts your workflow and productivity, like I've mentioned in a previous video, then that's something to be considered. Patience is definitely a virtue, and we have heard this time and time again throughout history. And if you are interested in film photography, that is something that you will have to develop. <laughs> the second main thing that I have learned from film photography is intention. Now, why I say intention is because everything matters just that little bit more when you go out to shoot film. The amount of times I have gone out loaded film, took my camera and haven't taken anything at all is higher than you would imagine. Because you only have a certain amount of shots that you can take. You have only a certain amount of money you can spend. Because as we know, price of film stock again in 2023 has risen. We do have to be mindful with how much we spend. I don't have a bottomless budget and I do have to be careful of how much I spend in the developing and processing of film. I have had comments saying, use different types of film stock, shoot black and white, do this, do that. That is fine, I completely take that on board. But for my needs and what I want, that sometimes encompass that. I also don't live anywhere near a film lab. So when I say the word intention, I really do like to use this camera with the intention that I'm going to capture something that I really do want. Which the caveat to this is I think it makes me a better photographer because it slows my work down. Going back to the reason number one, patience, it slows me down, it makes me more mindful and it is something that I use only on occasion. It is not something I use every day. When I know when I go out to shoot with my Fujifilm X-Pro3, I have 128 gigs that I can play with as much as I like and take as many shots as I like. Shooting film brings back that intention. It slows you down, it makes you more mindful, and it makes you, in that moment when taking that shot, make it feel that it means so much more that you get everything right. That your hands aren't moving around. The light is just as it is. You might even wait for the sun to just go behind the cloud to diffuse. You might wait for the sun to come out. You really wanna make sure that the intention you have of each shot is true and good and that when it comes to developing that film, that that whole role, there is at least some 
you know, good shots in there. And that's the other thing is that, you know, there's probably a hell of a lot of shots in there that aren't that good. And again, going back to patience, it's going to take a while till you fill up a role that every single shot is a banger. That is not the case and that is not how it works. And it does take a lot of time, effort and dedication to become a good photographer. And I think with film photography, it does require a little bit something else. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let's make some waves and I will see you in the next one. Peace.